Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we are playing uh, Yasuo mid lane on the PB because he recently got buffed and we're going to be playing him a little bit different because of the buffs. We're going to be playing him AP because what they did was they made his E, which deals magic damage, and it used to stack up to two times, now stacks up to four times. They did adjust it overall, but uh, basically as you level up and it becomes stronger, you can make it so it stacks up to four times, 25% each, which then gives you 100% bonus damage. It used to be base damage, now it's also total, so that also makes it so it's actually possible. So we can bring that 60% AP ratio, which really isn't that insane, up to 120% on a six second cooldown because you can only use it once every six seconds um, per unit. So it's not really the most viable thing, but we're gonna be testing it out. We want Aerie. I played a few games of it already and uh, I'll show bigger runes in a second, but I, I feel like you kind of have to do uh, like short trades over and over again. And Aerie and Scorch is exactly what we're gonna be using to make that happen. So, as you can see, I mean, it's working out so far. So, I think that the Lux is not as good as the other players that I played against. I played versus a Vladimir and a Katarina, and it was honestly kind of difficult. But I had Dark Harvest in those games, so I, I couldn't upload them because I was like, I went like 2 and 6 by the end of the game. It was a disaster. But, uh, a skill shop mage, firstly, Vladimir, his Q goes through Windwall, Katarina, uh, she can, her auto attack steal deal quite a bit. So, thankfully, this is a champion where, oh, it doesn't matter if she, like, uses skills at me because I have Windwalls that block, uh, both of them, so that all automatically makes it a little bit easier to play. She did a good job of hitting me there, though. Honestly, I just want a base, if that's okay. I won't even get Windwall here because all I care about is just leaving. Is that okay with you, or are you going to try to kill me? I just want that cannon. Is that alright? I know that your jungler probably can come mid at any moment too, but... I'm going to disrespect her quite a bit. But we'll get away with it. Will you, are you going to burn your flash? Okay, I'll just, I'll just leave. That's fine with me. I think she still has Barrier, too. I probably shouldn't go for an outplay. I think that she never did use it, so... For first item, let's go for Boots plus an Amp Tome. This could go into Nasher's Tooth, or it could go into a Proto Belt or something. I think Proto Belt isn't that bad. Uh, these are the runes that I'm running, so I'm going Airy Scorch, because we're constantly going in and using our abilities. Your Q also procs Scorch. And doing short trades over and over. I even went Relentless Hunter. Relentless Hunter because I feel like after the laning phase, you kind of just want to leave lane. I mean, that's fine. Yasuo is here. I mean, not Yasuo. Kha'Zix is here, but that doesn't really affect me. I'm just going to continue, like, kind of messing around with these guys. Why is there so many people in my lane? Oh, I'm trying to make her burn her Q. She has enough mana for it. You're really not going to do it still? Wow, she is really holding on to it. Dang. I mean, I, I don't want to go in until she uses it because I'm going to get myself killed, probably. Now she's the one who's disrespectful. I'm gonna level up off of like next creep, so. I'll just kill her now. Even if she flashed away, uh, I don't think that she had any opportunity to escape after I jumped in and leveled up. I also didn't windwall her E, but I windwalled her Q, which was the real thing that mattered because as long as she doesn't lock me down, I know that her damage just is not enough to ever catch me. That's the thing about playing versus mages that have, like... Should I go for this? Should I do it? Nah, I shouldn't... I should have based. 
I made a mistake. Uh, anyways, what I was trying to say is that with high cooldown champions like Lux or whatever it might be, let's get rid of her either. I might be able to kill her, to be honest, if I just land my ultimate. As soon as they use one, one or two abilities that they have with Lux, it's her Q and her E, that's all they got. So... Even if you're low HP like how I am, it's just like, oh, okay, I mean, if you don't have your ultimate yet, and if you miss one ability, then I, I'm i okay. There's no way for you to actually beat me. I looked at the minimap, and I saw Jin, but I didn't see Aatrox, so I guess that's my fault. Okay, we'll just get rid of both of her spells here. My Q missed, though. I don't think we're going to be able to chase her down. The thing is with your uh, E, when you press your Q and do the little spin, you can actually miss it. You didn't know. Anyways, I I'm gonna base now. We're up to dealing about like 200. <laughs> I'm not gonna base. I'm actually gonna try to kill her. I think I can kill her. She has no sums. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to E at her like this, and then ignite, and she's dead. The thing is, as you uh, level up your E... Oh my god, there's so many people mid. Uh, as you level up your E, it also lowers the cooldown of the cast. So you can E very, very, very quickly through creeps. It's actually kind of insane how fast you can start going. If you just start spamming it. Um, I'm going to go for a, a, the burst build. Screw going for the Nasher's Tooth. Let's just make it so we just jump on her and basically one-shot her immediately. The Aatrox support. I did a good job at outplaying him a little bit. When you use your ultimate, it gives you back your shield. And then that was keeping me uh, safe for the time being. But then Kha'Zix showed up. So yeah, we'll just go at her. Just use it preemptively. You never know if they're going to use their spell. And then we'll just back away. But then we don't actually back away. And we go back in. I'm going to go into that, but I don't care. I'm going to die here because there's no way to outplay Kha'Zix. As soon as I get out of a minion wave, it's doomed. I, I will instantly die. I have no outplay potential. I don't have any damage besides my E. And I can't even ramp it. Uh, and I only could use it like one time per character. So it's really rough. We're probably just going to have to do good inside of team fights. That's how we'll, we'll really start performing. Otherwise, I, I guess I will not leave my lane any longer. Because even walking towards a brush is dangerous. If somebody's in there, I'll lose. Doesn't matter how fed we are. Maybe if we prepped our E on creeps beforehand, then it, maybe I can like try fighting somebody, but otherwise. Dang, you can't use your wind wall mid cast of E, so. You can't buffer it. I'm guessing Kha'Zix will come back. I'm assuming here. Oh, maybe not. Dang, there's no creeps yet. I got her barrier, though. That's why I didn't want to go in just yet, because I knew I wouldn't be able to kill her. Okay, we can get some plates here. Uh, also, I'm going to be able to purchase my item. And yeah, this is maybe the point where I should just be roaming. Maybe I can go bot and try to make something happen.
No, dude, I don't deal any damage, and he has flash still. If I had proto bolt, I would kill. It was worth a shot. I used the creeps to make it so I could deal bonus damage, but it still wasn't enough. It still wasn't enough. I only thought about how to kill him and not to escape afterwards. Yeah, yeah, so only has AP ratio on his E. Although you can give yourself an AP ratio if you go like Nasher's Tooth. But it's uh still a pretty expensive item. At least I'm nine now. Oh my god, am I gonna live? <laughs> oh, just going through the creeps over and over again. Nice, okay, let's go, massive play. We managed to kill without dying to the Kha'Zix who prowlered Clawed. Okay, I'm gonna stick around for these. Are you gonna come for me? I'm trying to keep creeps that I can still jump to. Just in case. The next item should probably be... Maybe a Nasher's now. Maybe a Nasher's now. I just don't like it as a first item, I suppose, because it doesn't make me tanky at all. At least Protobolt gives me a little bit of HP to work with. We deal like what 400 damage with our E. Really not, really not that crazy. So my E deals as much as an Alistar W, and that's it, right? That's how little damage it does. But I can spam it way more than Alistar W, so. I guess that's the benefit. Wow, massive chunk. I'm gonna block her E so I don't take as much damage here. Super dead. The Kha'Zix is here again. Not much that I can really do about that one. Do I lose my tower? I might. Stop, my full tower, dude. Really. I wonder how a team fight's gonna go. I mean, I do have a Sedge on my team, which is really nice. Since we're a melee, we can easily proc her stun. Got her Q for a moment. It's not anymore. Is 
Is this guy just gonna stick around her to make it so she can't die? I almost was interested in trying to dive. Maybe I could have, like, eat on the next wave incoming. I guess it depends on if there was a... Creeps under tower. Otherwise, I'd probably just die to it. A little bit of poke damage on that guy. Kha'Zix is really the main threat because he always comes mid. I can buy a recurve bow that also gives a little bit of on-hit damage as well. I just want to be full HP at this point because it's kind of scary. Not being full HP. Damn, he's even building magic resist? That's a bummer. It's not really that much magic damage on our team, too. I feel like magic resist probably counters me really hard. Because that's the only thing I got. Yeah, I'll take mid tower here probably. They might do dragon. Maybe. Or Lola's come mid. Nice kill on Lux. I mean, I'll run bot. I feel like they should see me coming, but who knows. I can uh, use my ultimate off of Kane. Guess we're not gonna be able to chase, huh? And your W. Nice. Massive. 1,000 gold for my teammate. Not really sure how easily I can uh, fight these guys. I guess it depends on if they step up or not. I feel like they're gonna base, base off of their posturing. So I'm just gonna base as well. I have my item. If I sell my potion here, I can buy my Nashra's tooth. And then maybe we can uh, work with, like, Pop to try to make this happen. So now we have on-hit damage, every single auto-attack, and my Q also counts. Oh wow, nice escape. tried. I tried to use their protobolt to gap close, but... I'm just gonna use Wind Wall. Man, I really had to ulti him. I was hoping to save it, so... He went the other way. But I don't think we're going to be able to chase him anyways. I 
that guy dies. I still have wind wall. I'm waiting for my shield though. Let me just get, go straight into them and use my wind wall incorrectly so I insta die. The ash damage was kind of nuts. I didn't expect her to hit that hard. Nice, well played, guys. I might have a lot of deaths, but I think that we're playing AP Asso as intended. This is exactly what they meant for AP Asso. My E does a whopping, like, I, I think that when I have four sacks, it deals about 500. So, not bad, not bad damage, you know. Probably a little bit less than a Kha'Zix Q. Isolation. We'll use that uh, wolf to push ourselves a little bit further. This is their dragon, and they already have two, so it's kind of bad. There's also a chance that they come bot when I go for this, so I'm a little bit scared that I'm going to overextend myself. I don't want to fight with Katarina. I don't think that if we face check them, it would be good. Okay, we see where they are, though. Damn. Should be able to still win, though. Dang, I couldn't even get that. Well played. The sedge slowdown helped out so much for me to actually be able to chase that guy down. Okay, cool. Well, they're not going to get sold for quite some time now if uh, we manage to start losing. Now they need two more. Do I just want to go Sorks anyways and just try to do as much damage as I can? I feel like I should. Even though I think a, maybe a better purchase would be like Merc Treads or something. For Lux Snare if it ever lands or Ash. I'm wondering if I can even beat this guy. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure if I ulti him, not even ulti him, just start fighting him. He basically has a Nashor's Tooth in his kit. He deals bonus auto attack damage, and then he has other damage as well. But let's find out for sure. Man, I'm worried about him just ulting me. Like, what if he just ultis me, takes me to Death Realm, and he can kill me there? Alright, we'll just shove out the wave in Rome. Uh, this is the ideal way. I was only wanting to fight him if he was interested in fighting, and clearly he's not. I don't know, just do Baron, I guess. I mean, everybody's dead. They shouldn't be able to stop it, it's just Mordekaiser. I feel like we do it semi-fast. That also helps out because this does have a tiny AD ratio on it, and since Baron gives you AP and AD, that means that we're just getting more damage on our ability. That's exactly what we needed. Uh, I should have probably wanted Death Cap rather than what I built, so I'll just sit on this Amptome and just try to get a Needless. Because I think the goal is uh, get enough to make it so we can uh, 
like almost half life or quarter life ash and lux with just my e i'm pretty sure i already do that it deals about 600 so Team got caught. I ignited him before he went to the death realm, so Sedge actually has ignite here. We'll just watch the two particles fight each other. Holy crap, Sedge almost lost? Oh my god, she did lose. Really? Wow. I didn't expect that. Wow, she is really scared of me, really. She used her barrier. You don't have to be that scared. I'm not a standard Yasuo. Should I go for it? Okay, that took so much more effort than I needed to do just to get her. Now I'm gonna die. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, the thing that I had to do was I had to go in, use my E on her, and then ulti. And that was max stack E, so we did a nice chunk. And then as we go back down, we wait for the E cooldown because it has a six second cooldown per target that doesn't get reduced by anything to make it so I can use it again on her in six seconds, so. You know, if they wanted to make a different play style for Yasuo to be played, they probably could do it by doing one thing, which is make E cooldown get affected by CDR. Because the thing is how standard Yasuo is played, he normally builds items that don't take any CDR at all. Um... Like, Infinity Edge has no CDR, Bloodthirster has no CDR, um... He doesn't really go Phantom Dancer, but that doesn't have CDR, but the whole entire thing is... Because there's so many items that build crit, and that's how he builds, then it's not really gonna make him OP. Because the only thing that he builds is things that don't have CDR in the first place. Portal Belt. Whoa! I actually got the kill. Wow, that's funny. Double kill. AP Yasuo. So yeah, I think that would honestly make it viable. Like, let's imagine I have, what, 20% CDR on the 6 second cooldown? At least now it's down to, like, something else. Like, just barely less. And then what if I just went for, like, a Cosmic Drive afterwards? And then I have the cooldown go down to, like, a 3-second cooldown. 3 seconds is still a ridiculously long time. Like, the chances of you even hitting multiple E's inside of a team fight with a 3-second cooldown would be insanely high. But just trying to theory craft a way to make it so AP Yasuo is actually somewhat playable. I'm gonna die. But we killed her, and that's all that matters. Also, we can sell our Amp Tome to buy a Death Cap. So finally, our E does like 800 damage. Huge. Plus, our Nashor's Tooth is doing work, right? You can see that it did almost 2,000 damage this game. It also has an AP ratio on it, so as I build more AP, that's just making it deal even more. The, my first attempts when I was taking Dark Harvest, I was running Gathering Storm and Absolute Focus for scaling, but I realized that it's actually more important to have a way to win lane than anything else. My Airy has attacked people 69 times. That's pretty nice. 2,000 damage. This guy's like full build, by the way. That, that Kha'Zix is literally a god right now. <laughs> Kha'Zix truly is their whole team. 
go go for me. I dare you. Try to catch me. I bet you can't. I blocked it, guys. I blocked it. Chase him down. He went into this brush. So we lost him. His stealth lasts too long. Oh, nice. He's dead. He has Death Dance, so... I don't want to lose my shield. Oh, look at that. Look at the Lux. Wait, wait, wait. I, I want to leave. I don't want to fight anymore. I'm not okay with Mordekaiser ulting me. I'll just die. Okay, I'm going to go bot. I'm so happy Ash is split pushing because maybe... No, don't base. Because I want to get into scenarios where I can fight somebody. I don't want to fight this Mordekaiser. We'll do it. Let's fight him. Why is he ulting Sedge instead of me? I mean, he would just kill me instantly. Right now. Hey, I actually predicted it pretty well there. What should I buy next? I could build a Void Staff. I could build a Shadow Flame if I want to deal more to the Squishies. I think maybe a Void. It's probably best. Let's make it so we actually deal damage to this Kha'Zix. Have to admit, I think that the Relentless Hunter really helps out a lot. If you're going to play this this AP Yasuo, being able to run around to every single fight is so damn important. Because that's really your only function. Oh god, I'm going to die. Wait. She cheated. She used Flash. That's not fair. My damage was kind of thick, though. Like, that was, that was some pretty nice damage on her. When I eat her, it did what? <laughs> like half of her life immediately? I tried to win wall at the exact moment that she threw her arrow. I think I did do it. Wow, you, you actually live? Nice, nice. Uh, dragon's coming up. I'll be up like five seconds before it comes up. So we should be able to still, I think, do it. At least I hope so. Kane lasts quite a while, so even if uh, Kha'Zix jumps on Kane, he shouldn't be able to kill him right away, and then he can just stall for our team. Okay. Lost blue. That's okay. Let's get back to the dragon. I'm on the way, boys. I'm on the way. Oh, God. Help. I'm so tiny. <laughs> okay, we should be able to chase this guy down. Oh, and I can stack. Big damage there off my E. I, even though he flashed it, it still does the damage, so we know it hurt. Ash, are you going to show up by chance? Ash, catch the wave. Ideally, the she tries to catch it right when the other wave comes, because that's my gap closer. Oh, she is here. I'll get her to use arrow. Okay, she didn't panic. 
I was hoping for her to go for arrow and then he can go in for a play of his own. Uh, I think he's dead. Oh my god, what is going on? Okay then. I'm gonna leave. I'm not- oh my god. Okay, everything's warded. This is not good. I'm gonna pretend to go that way, but then I go down. But then they know. Because I barely got seen. I was gonna go this way. Because I'm like, pretending. But I guess they didn't fall for it. I almost have my Void Staff, though. Uh... Cause is probably gonna kill. He could probably just kill our teammate. I don't think that he's very scary. I don't think his Maw even procced. There's no way Katarina will be able to beat him in a 1v1. I'm happy that he ran away, <laughs> rather than just kill her. He's generated 2,000 gold from first strike. We need to fight with Sedge and uh, Arcane. We're a CC bot, kind of, at this point. No, dude, I died so damn fast, I couldn't even ulti. I'm down to FF. So yeah, that's AP Yasuo. As you can see, it's really, really bad. Uh, I do not recommend playing it unless you're versus like maybe bronze or iron. And then maybe you can do something with it. Otherwise, never worth it. But thankfully for you Yasuo players, this is still a buff to him. So his E dealing the, the bonus magic damage, although you're going to be doing mostly AD, it still just gives you more damage overall. So it works out. It works out. The reason why we lost is because we never grouped. Like as a team, everybody kept doing their own thing. It's a pretty classic way to lose. GG. I'm guessing my damage is probably going to be... From my experience, my damage is normally pretty high, though. So, we'll find out now how high my damage truly was with the AP Yasuo. <laughs> yep. It was high for my team. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next commentary. Bye.